make a quick guide on how I play those two, at least on T side. Uh, I guess the first thing I want to go over is, you know, default setup for Dust2. Usually, like, the most default setup people run is one lurking B, one lurking long, and one opping mid, and two people trying to get cat control together, just up to here. Which leads into either splitting A, going mid B, or anything around that nature based on CT setups. So I figure I'll go over what I do for B first. Alright, so first things first for B, I'll go over the default spots you should play when you have like no information. Uh if you have a really good spawn, I suggest just like flashing probably earlier and then just crossing here. Because if you get here and they don't know and they like had a bad spawn or something and they didn't hear you get here, it's just like a nice angle to catch them off guard from. Because they'll probably be aiming at this side and not that side while they're back clad. It's just a really like easy thing to do. Alright, so if they have no guns and you guys have guns, I suggest playing out here. I mean, it's just like if you play in tons, there's a chance that they'll push lower. There's also a chance that they'll push top tunnels together and most of the time they can just frag you out and trade. So if you play here, it's a lot safer. You most likely won't die unless they hit an insane shot, so play here. I mean, you can play it passively if you want and just catch them off guard while you hear them trying to run lower or something. Just is an easy way to not die on the ecos. Uh, another default spot to play is, of course, right here. I mean, all you have to do is, like, watch this, play it passively, just give your team information. I mean, a lot of the time, as a lurk, you just don't want to die. Keep yourself alive, give your team information, shit like that. Alright, so for something to do aggressively, like, when you know how they play and they, like, generally they either, like, smoke or molly B and you have a really good spawn, what you can do is just, like, buy a smoke, run through, toss your smoke off the wall like that, you can run with it if they're smoking or mollying. The smoke's really easy to do, by the way, you just get it down yourself, it's not hard, you just bounce it off the wall. But yeah, if they smoke or molly and you run through with it, like, your, your sound's gonna be masked by that smoke, so you can just jump on this box and just chill here. I don't suggest jumping up top, because if you jump up top, you have, like, a delay between when you can shoot. So when you're jumping, you're inaccurate, so... If they're looking and, like, they see you jump, they're gonna have the quicker reaction and just tap you and you're dead. So while you're up here, it's just, like, just chilling right here. You can look, like, right here, because sometimes they jump up top and you can get a free kill. You also have to worry about, like, a, what a lot of people do is play around your smoke. So usually I just chill here and like crouch and just aim right here and sometimes I'll peek up like that. But yeah, you can just watch these angles right here and a lot of the time after the smoke dissipates, it'll, it'll take about 15 seconds so like just have that in mind. But yeah, they'll either be playing like right here or right here. So either way, like most of the time I would say it's about like a 60% chance that you'll win this aim battle because they won't be like expecting you right there. So just be ready for when the smoke dissipates for a free kill. Um, after that, what I would do is, I'd suggest like jumping on the box after that. And what you can do is just chill here and hold B for your team. I mean, all you have to do is hold B and then once your team comes, they smoke door, you get B for free. Like, all they really have to worry about is an offer here, and if you bought a molly, all you have to do is molly window. From there, you have B site free, I mean, CTs have a, like, really tough time retaking B, so it's most likely a free round. Alright, another thing I like doing is if my team has like, say, a few offers or too many offers, I like the SG. Uh, the SG is actually really sick, like, if you just like, spam your left click, you'll see that it looks like, almost accurate. Like, 100% accurate. So what I like to do is if I have a really, really good spawn, I just run across, and then I just watch this. Like, the jump up. If they jump up, usually you can just one-tap their head, even if they're offing, like, you can beat the offer. Just tap his head, because he has that, like, delay when he's jumping up with accuracy, so... Tap. Even if they, like, strafe across, you have a chance of killing them. You just have to react really well. I guess another thing, like, while you're just, like, holding and kind of learning how the team plays, what I like to do is, if they smoke it, just listen. Like, listen really close to tunnels. A lot of the times you'll hear this guy plat, like, spamming and trying to, like, spam you through the smoke. What you can do is just like wait for like an opportune moment and when you hear him like say shooting on this side you can just like 
peek and try to spam back, and a lot of the times you can just like get the kill because you hear him, you get the tracer, you have the idea of where they're shooting from, and then you just spam through the smoke and tap. Like it's really easy to do, even on this side, like because a lot of the time they'll spam that side, so you just listen, and then as soon as like you hear like a, a skip in their spam or something, just peek and tap, and maybe you'll get the kill. Like just spam in like common spots, like right here top of the box it's really easy to get a kill through smoke and B if someone's playing stupidly and just spamming through it I guess most of the time when you're the guy B the, the thing you'll end up doing is having to be the guy who rotates lower I mean if your team has a I suggest like playing this really really passive because most of the time people will be aware that there's alert B because that's how most teams play B so like when you hear them like really kind of forgetting about tons maybe jumping up cat is when you want to peek and you just have to warn your team that they could be up cat like you don't want to play this too aggressively because then you'll just be a free kill like they'll be way aware of you instead you just play a really passive make sure you can get one kill at least maybe even two and then like you set your team up to win the round just keep in mind that when you're going somewhere like lower, you want to be aware that like they can be there sometimes. Like they can be picking mid and your team won't even see them. Like if they smoke it properly. And a lot of boppers don't really call that someone's peeking mid sometimes. So just be aware that they can be lower. Do a simple pop flash, pop flash the opera, and then peek. Like you don't want to peek dry. Because that opera will get a free pick and then it's just yeah, AIDS. Something to keep in mind, like most of the things I'm telling you work a lot better if you have a teammate working with you. Like, say you're out here and you have a teammate just, like, sitting behind you, like, kind of waiting with you. Like, they can even flash out for you, because you won't be blind if they flash properly. You just, like, flash out tons, and then you're right here not being blind. We'll just, like, pop, like, right there. We'll be up here, like, partially blind, but not blind enough to not see. And they can be full blinded, and you get a free kill. Th that's just something to keep in mind. Like, all this stuff doesn't have to be done solo, but it can be. Okay. So next is going to be cat control. Uh, how you want to take cat control is usually you'll have an opera picking mid to like protect you from anyone coming up mid quickly and aggressively. And you want to use a smoke for Xbox to get up cat safely, usually. So what you want to do is just place your crosshair like right here, just below like the tip of the prong and in between the two prongs, smoke. and then just toss it. My bad? I'm so bad. Line your crosshair up with that, toss, lands right there, easy, and once it is smoked, I mean, if you're running up cat, I see just like, just flashing over, a lot of the time the opera will try to just like spam the smoke, so you kind of want to like, not peek right away and go with the smoke right away, because you'll get gayed, also if you flash over, a lot of operas just kind of back off, you don't have to flash though when Xbox is smoke, it's just, yeah. But yeah, when you're going up cat, I suggest flashing off this. Oh, garbage. Just flash off this like that. You can flash into cat like that. I really don't like that flash too much. I prefer a flash like more like that for it to bounce off and like pop flash in front. And then like once you're up here, I suggest flashing off that. And then yeah, like it, that's like the simplest flash for cat. You just flash off this wall. And if they're like anywhere up top, they're full flash. Unless they turn, and then even if they turn while you're peeking, they'll be full flash or turn the opposite way. So, I mean, another easy way to take cat control is if you have a teammate lower who can, like, smoke Xbox and then flash for you, you can just go with his flash, which is, like, a lot more effective in taking cat control. But once you have this area, don't push up past this. Like, if you're pushing up to certain angles, CTs a lot of the time just like to post up and gate. All you need is this area right here, because then this area allows you to do so much with the map. Like, you don't want to push up past this, because if you peek, like, there's so many aim battles to take. You kind of want to do something with your team at this point when you have cat control. You don't want to peek and just, like, take all the aim battles, and because they're going to be at headshot angles. They're going to be at really gay places where they can get a free kill. So that's not something you want to do. If you do have to do something solo on cat though, I would suggest like doing this smoke. Well, fuck. Not that far. Yeah, more like that. So that smoke. That smoke pops. What you can do is 
jump past it, you, there is a chance that you'll be shot jumping past it. But what this does is, it kind of gives the CTs two angles to look at. They either have to look here, or they have to look here. And while they're doing that, you can just kind of, you know, play around the smoke, try to tap it. It'll split them up so they can't fuck you, basically. Also, like, with this smoke, you can also, like, flash. Just flash cat. The really simple flashes. They'll be blind. They'll have no idea if you're past it or, like, where you are in the smoke. So you can do that as well. It's really simple. Another thing I would suggest is, like, throwing a smoke for a spawn dropping. The way I do it is really simple and really not effective. But, I don't know. It's just easy for me. I just toss it like that. It's, like, to the right of this thing. Right there. It lands, like, with them having a little room to see UCT, but say you have that smoke there, all you have to do is really just flash twice, however which way you prefer flashing, and then you can just jump in there. And what you can do is you can even jump for the guy CT, like, if you're on cat listening, you can generally tell if they have one in CT, like, looking up at cat or something, or if they have one, like, on this ramp looking up at cat. You can usually tell what they're doing. So if you know like no one CT, you can just drop spawn, kill the guy mid. Something like that. Something simple where you can get a free kill. Like all this stuff is based on what the other team is doing. You really have to just like pay attention and observe. Another cool thing to do for cat is just mollying sight. What you want to do is like aim above that, toss it, it'll end there. Still burning them on that side, so yeah. So what the molly will do is the CTs have to react, they have to do something about it. So while you're taking cat and while you throw that molly, they'll make themselves either, they'll either draw back, which is the smarter play to do, or they'll jump to the side like an idiot and get fragged. So if you do something where CTs have to react, it, it just throws them off and can give you free kills. Uh, another thing you can actually do is if you know they have an opper who kind of plays mid and all he does at the beginning of the round is like posts up on cat, a lot of the times teams will just smoke mid and an offer will just sit here watching cat. A lot of people do that. So if you know they do do that and you know they have like a comfort zone just doing that, what you want to do is say you have a mid spawn and you have a flash, just flash over while, it, while it's smoked, run through, that offer is going to be like full blind and then you can get a free kill just running through that and you can honestly just like run through and take B because a lot of the time the people at A won't even be ready. So all you'll have to worry about is this kid B, and then if you have a teammate pushing tons as well, like, a lot of the time it's like just an easy pick to get and a way to cause a lot of havoc for the CTs. I mean, I hope you guys really know the smoke for mid B, if not it's really simple. You just aim at that window, toss it off, lands pretty much perfect every time. Alright, so default spots for long would be like... Outside long, generally, like you can play here, you can play by the door, you can play inside the door, which is a bit more risky. You can get boosted onto these boxes and play that gay spot. I mean, smarter CTs won't push into long a lot. Unless they're really desperate for a kill, they really won't do that. So what do you have to do when you have to go out and get the kill? So something I like doing is this smoke off this ledge right here. It pops like just in front of the doorway and what you can do is like just wait for the CTs to finish spamming it and then kind of ninja your way out and just play right here. So what the- right here, sorry. So what this area does is it blocks you from getting seen from pit and you can also see this guy long and a lot of the time he won't be aiming like right here. So what you can do is just kill that guy and then just try and kill the guy pit. I mean, the only problem with this is, is that if this guy's like, kind of peeking for it, which usually doesn't happen, like, I haven't seen that happen to me many times, but yeah, like, you can get a free kill on here, and then you can get a free kill pit as well if you're, you know, just insane. Now, next I want to talk about is, if you have a good long spawn and you want to go long fast, what I do, if I want to go, like, out long, I'll just flash over and tell my team to rain flashes for me, and I'll just get out to boop in. Most of the time, you can get here for free. Sometimes you'll have to fight one, but if your team's raining flashes in, you can usually get here for free. Uh, once you're here, you really, like, you have to take the aim battles for the most part. I mean, you can, like, pop flash off the back and then take the fight, or, like, whatever you want, really. I mean, I said just, like, you can even smoke any which way you want, either that way or that way. 
just to keep them smoke off a bit so they have to like take a wider angle peek. But yeah, I wouldn't suggest like trying to ninja here because they're just going to be looking at it the entire time. I mean, what you really want to do is take the aim battles, have your team help you, and try to win long control. Say you do get out here, like, say say it's a save round, right? Say you have a tech nine and it's a save round, and all you have is a flash and a tech nine. What I do suggest is flashing over, and when you're running out, just try and spam and try and get here. Like, if you can actually scare them away or get a kill, like, just sit here. This is such a good spot to play when you get long control. Like, a lot of the times, teams will, like, either assume that you're either blue bin or still long doors so they won't really peek this angle and you'll hear them like trying to peek and once they do that just pop up get the kill like it's a really easy thing to do i mean i hope you guys really know the smoke for mid b if not it's really simple just aim at that window toss it off Plans pretty much perfect every time I mean, that's about it for like a basic solo guide on how to play Dust 2. If you guys want me to make like a CT side video where I show you how I play aggressively and like how I play default, just, just uh, leave a comment, sub, like, all that good shit. Peace.